In the summer, one man was brought 20 cats in a 90 degree heat where they brought them here to find them homes. On one Saturday afternoon, Jeff Pettigrew was home and was asked to help take in some cats, as he's done before along with his help from his friend, Janet Stockham. But this group of cats was different. They were in a small pickup truck in the sweltering summer heat. They had been in that truck for two days already and the, somebody called the police on them. Uh, they came here asking for help. I called the shelter. Uh, they really couldn't take them. So I agreed to let them stay here until we figured out what to do next with them. Uh, that's kind of what we've been doing ever since. We, we put in air conditioning. We, we feed them, uh, we got litter boxes, we got everything they need there. And we're just trying to find them good homes. Jeff has a passion for animals, and in particular, the feline sort. He wants to take care of them no matter what breed they are, just so they find a good home and are healthy along the way. They need, they not only just need food and water and a soft bed, they need people. They need people, they need human interaction, and they even need social interaction with other cats. And I make sure they get that too. It's, it's important, you can't just stuff them in a room or a, a, you know, a garage or, or someplace and just ignore them and toss some food in there once a day. And no, they need you too. They don't just need the sustenance, they need people. And uh, as you can see, we like cats here. Janet helps out not only with Jeff, but with a multitude of other cat programs and knows many folks in the cat community who are willing to sacrifice a little to help with the felines in need. They're well fed. My, my, my sister-in-law, Chris, sent food here. Well, to me, and I gave it to Jeff. Uh, Kim Spaulding and her husband gave toys and blankets, and Patty Guzik gave toys and blankets. I mean, the, the outpouring, you know. I don't know, that's, I mean, I've been doing it not as long as Jeff has. But, I mean, my whole life is cats now. Grateful Rescue has stepped up to help Jeff every step of the way. She's promoting uh, the adoptions. Uh, she's, she's, gotten, uh, uh, she's gotten their microchips. She's helped get their shots, uh, vet checks. Uh, she, she's helped get some of the things they need. Uh, she's, a lot more, she's a lot more experienced with this than I am. So I'm kind of learning from her. Yeah, I followed Pamela on Facebook and social media, seen her on TV. And when Jeff told me that Grateful Rescue was involved, I, I just was like, I was ecstatic. I said, this is fabulous. This is absolutely fantastic. Jeff's passion and care for these animals comes out in his love for these furry friends to find them their forever homes. Uh, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful thing and I wish I could I wish I could uh, do them all today, but you know, it takes time, and I'm willing to put in the time and effort to, to, to make sure they all get a home. That way they don't have to compete with each other for attention, because when you got 20, nobody gets much attention. <laughs>